Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at how to create a pie chart in a Microsoft Word document. So I have just a regular document already open here and I'm going to put in a pie chart. So I'm going to insert, I'm going to chart here. And then from the list of charts, we're just going to select pie chart. I'm going to select the simplest pie chart in the list here and just click OK. And what's going to happen is that Microsoft Word is going to insert this pie chart into my document and then there's a little sort of mini worksheet that I can put my data into. So I can type over this, this is going to be the heading for the chart and these are the items in the chart. So for every one of your categories you're going to have some data here. Now I'm just going to copy and paste my data because I already have that in a, another document. So I'm just going to copy and paste it in here. Now you can make your data more readable if you like. So here I'm just stretching out the columns. This works exactly like an Excel worksheet. So now that I've got my data in the worksheet, I can just close this dialog. But if say, for example, I didn't want to include the microwave, I could just decrease the size of the data because this is the selected area that's reflected in the chart. And microwave, you can see here, has now been removed. So you can extend this or shrink it up depending on what your needs are. So this is the basic pie chart. We can do some things to change it. So with the pie chart selected, we have options such as whether the text will wrap around it, which are these options down here and how it will wrap around. We can also change things like the chart title. So here we've got it above the chart. We could center it or there were other options available by clicking more options. We can also select to add data labels. So we would actually be adding in the actual numbers that are in use here. And you can see the colors reflected in the legend here. Now with the data labels, you can choose where they go. So for example, they could be outside or you could use data callouts for this sort of chart that would be a really good idea. But you'll see that for my data callouts they already have the item or the appliance in them so there really is no need for the legend down here. So we could simply turn off the legend that would make the chart a little bit bigger. Now you'll see here that this sort of data caption is pretty close to the title. Well by selecting the area here, we can actually resize it. So what I'm going to do is click on format and over here, I'm actually going to choose plot area because the chart area is the whole chart, but the plot area is just this pie chart circle. So I'm just going to reduce the size of it, which is going to move this caption here away from the title. Now for every one of these items, you can also move them a little bit. So for example, we could grab air conditioner. I'm just clicking on it twice to make sure that I have only it selected and I can move it into a slightly different position if the current positioning of it doesn't suit me. So the yellow bit is the pointer into the data and just by selecting the item itself, just making sure that it's the only one selected, you can move it around as you need. You can also change the color of the chart. So we're going here to chart styles. There are different styles of chart that you can choose from and some of them are going to make a bit of a mess of the data we've got here. If we were to choose this option, we would need to move all our little captions around. So you can see that probably choosing the style before you go and do too much work on the chart would be a really good idea because then you'll have less work to do later on. You can also reselect colors so you could change the colors to something that is more appropriate, perhaps to match it to other items in the document or to the topic itself. I'm going to leave mine just the way it came. You can see that this chart has a border around it. If you don't want it to have a border around it, reselect the chart, go to format and this is the border, the shape outline. So we can set it to, for example, no outline. We could also give the chart a backing so we could give it a fill, for example, a light gray fill. When I click away from it, you can see the border has disappeared, but the fill is in place. You can also add a shadow by going to format, shape effects and choose shadow. This is a fairly typical shadow, this offset bottom. At any stage, if you need to change your data, you can just reselect on the chart and go to chart design and then edit data. And that will open up the worksheet so that you can change the data. If for example, something was incorrect. 
Looking at my labels here, you can see that they've got percentages on them. We can also add the actual numbers. So let's go to the chart elements. Let's go to data labels. And this time, let's go to more options. This opens up the format data labels dialog. At the moment, you can see we've got the category name and the percentage, but we could also add in the value. So we could get the actual number of kilowatt hours per year. Now, if we were trying to draw attention to something, so for example, draw attention to how much a dishwasher was actually going to be using, which is a little bit surprising here, what we could do is click twice on dishwasher so that you can see that the dishwasher pie slice has little dots around it, but none of the others do. And we could just drag it out to draw attention to it by exploding that pie chart slice. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.